Uh, with the resource we have at the moment, we have about a seven year mine life, but with a very small amount of drilling, we expect to extend that to uh, around 20 years in a fairly short time frame. But Well, welcome Jim to the studio. It's amazing to have you here. Now, could you shortly introduce who you are to the audience at home? Yeah, sure, Stein. I'm uh, Jim Jackson. I'm the general manager here at Liver Gold uh, in uh, beautiful sunny Finland. We're sorry you made the uh, trip for such horrible weather, but it is what it is, it's finished weather. Yeah, it is what it is. Perhaps you can shortly place Life of Gold into context of the long history of the management team that it has and, uh, and the project that it has running. Yeah, sure. Uh, Pillar Gold bought the process, bought the uh, project out of administration, and we bought uh, Liva into the Pillar Gold family. And then we decided that we better value for investors to uh, spin and pillar out to its own company. So that's how we've ended up with Pillar Gold and Liver Gold as being separate companies, but it's still all managed by the same board, the same directors. So we have the synergy between the two companies. And of course, Pillar Gold was also a company that was purchased through bankruptcy and that's now already producing, correct? Uh, no, no, Pillar Gold was bought from Equinox. Uh, PTGM mine was bought from uh, Equinox. It was an operating mine and Equinox were getting rid of some of their smaller mines, part of a rationalization of their group and we were lucky enough to be able to purchase the mine directly from Equinox and uh, the, it's a vendor finance deal with them. So yeah, that was already up and running when we bought it. All right, thank you for the short history of, of Pillar Gold. Now, Life of Gold is of course a different story because like you said, it was bought uh, through a bankruptcy. Through that, you've been able to buy it for a dime on the dollar, correct? Yes, that's correct, yeah, yeah, yes, basically. So when we bought the the, uh, the mine, the enterprise, it come uh, totally debt-free and creditor-free. So we had a clean balance sheet right from the start. So basically, we bought the project uh, with stock out of our uh, Pillar Gold company and everything you see here we, we own. So yeah, there's no, no debtors, no creditors, we don't own any banks, any money, nothing. And could you shortly walk us through what we have here at Life of Gold? Because we have a processing facility but we also have a mine with a certain life of mine attached to it. Could you walk us through that? Yeah, for sure. We've obviously got the um, processing facilities which we're sitting at the moment, capable of uh, nameplate production of about 6,000 tonnes per day, which we aim to ramp up to as, as quickly as we can once we get back into production. So there's two open pits, they're very young open pits. Um, our geologist will speak more about those as he comes along. But uh, with the resource we have at the moment, we have about a seven year mine life, but with a very small amount of drilling, we expect to extend that to uh, around 20 years in a fairly short time frame. But a lot of the exploration done so far has been done uh, fairly close to mine, uh, but there's a, a lot of gaps in the exploration that they've done. So even though we know that the ore body continues, we can't actually uh, count that until we put the holes down to connect the dots, basically. Yes, makes sense. You've got to confirm it before you can pu publish it to the public. Yes, even though we may know that, that's not good enough for the market. Yes, exactly right. And what time frame are we roughly looking at to get this beautiful processing facility up and running? We're aiming to come into production in spring 2024. At the moment, we're busily using the time while we're in care maintenance to try and trim some of our costs. And as we go forward, we want to have all the day-to-day -day type activities that normally mines do uh, trimmed down to the most uh, efficient and cost-effective uh, scale that we can. So this, this is one of the things we're doing during the care and maintenance period. I mean, obviously we're looking after our plant, we're looking after the environment, we're doing all those type of things. We're fine-tuning our mining plan, but we're also looking at ways that we can reduce costs going forward.